So, Apple's September event has finally come and gone. We know more about the iPhone 16, the Apple Watch Series 10, we know a little more about AirPods, and pretty much we didn't get too, too much like we thought. Now, we heard a little bit more about iOS 18 and Apple Intelligence and all that, but <clears throat> like I said, the amount of upgrades that you see in this year's event you know, you cannot really expect too much because here's the thing. Though you might want the hardware to be updated dramatically, there's only so much you can do with the hardware. Now, majority of the stuff that Apple's doing this year is going to be software related. So everything related to iOS 18, 18.1, and 18.2. It's all focused on Apple intelligence and the unique features and the new unique things they added to the iOS. So as far as hardware goes, we did not get an Apple Watch Ultra 3. We instead got the Apple Watch Ultra 2 in a black color, which is still significant because they probably added a few little chips in there or whatever, but that's it. The Apple Watch Ultra pretty much stayed the same except for the color. The Apple Watch Series 10 got a bigger screen, got a little faster processor. In other words, they made the Apple Watch Series 10 about as fast and good battery life as the Apple Watch Ultra. It's pretty much what they did. So if you don't want an Ultra, you go with the 10. That's basically what they did with the Apple Watches. Now, AirPods, they did something kind of funny. So they brought in two lower end AirPods with similar features to the AirPod Pro. The AirPod Pro, they really didn't do anything with it except tell you that some software updates will help with your hearing. That's pretty much it. So that's all we saw as far as AirPods. Now, AirPod Max, well, they got a new colors and they got USB-C. So there really was no significant issues on that. It has not been updated or anything. That's it. Now, iPhones. It's the iPhone Pro and Pro Max are the ones that got the majority of the features. You got the better camera. You've got better battery. There is improvement to 5G connectivity. There is Wi-Fi 7. So you're going to have good improvements on those. You have the new camera control button which is on the top and pretty much it's a little bigger bezels are there. So it's a little brighter beyond that. It looks very similar to the iPhone 15 pro max. It's all the internal features inside that make it what it is. Now, as far as Apple intelligence, well, it'll work on the 15 pro maxes as well as the 16 pro maxes. Now, if you notice, I didn't really mention much about the uh, iPhone 16 or 16 plus, right? Because those are pretty much a waste of money. Yes, they have similar features to the pros, but you're wasting your money in getting those. The pros is what Apple's putting all the new features with. That's where you're going to get the features. Now, is it a huge feature jump from the 15 Pro Max? Probably not. For some of you people, you can keep your 15 Pro Maxes and keep using with iOS 18. But for others, if you want those little minor features, faster connectivities, things like that, better battery... Well, the 16 Pro Max is your key. Now, don't go into debt getting your 16 Pro Max. Use your Apple card, do Apple monthly uh, installments, get a little cheaper, get your cash back, and it'll make it much easier. So we have iOS 18 coming up pretty soon for everyone. We've got pre-orders coming through and you'll get the devices by September 20th. As soon as I get mine in, as soon as I get it all set up, I'll come back, give you guys some previews on it and tell you what I think and as far as how much of an improvement it is to the 15 Pro Max. So that's pretty much what Apple did on their September event. It wasn't a big joy event. It was nothing spectacular, but that was Apple's annual event they do every year. Got any questions on that? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll come back with a lot more videos showing you the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the black colored Apple Watch Ultra Two, not three.